Hello and welcome to the Quadrant MK, or Network Rail's massive building in Milton Keynes. It's part of the tradition when you come and make a film here, you have to do it in the middle of the atrium because it's so cool looking. But the reason I'm here is because I recently made a couple of films about timetabling. I spoke to Chris Fowler from Southern about how operators build timetables. How many trains do you have? Where are those trains? And Chris Curtis from Network Rail about what Network Rail does. To put together a whole national timetable and do all the deconflicting that we would need to do, it takes weeks and weeks. I've come here to see a third Chris, Chris Rowley, about how we physically turn all those little timetables into one big national plan. And he's going to take me through it. What do we do here? Well, firstly, the most important input to what we do is the train operators. They produce the timetable plans that we work with and synchronise into a timetable. I know you've already spoken to them in one of your previous episodes. So we'll take you straight into who you're going to meet today. You'll meet Nick Coles, who's part of our production team, who integrates freight and all the other production timetables into the daily timetable that you see out there on the railway. You'll meet Hannah Linford, who deals with our advanced timetabling team that looks at the strategic advanced timetables that are going to come through in the next two, three, four, five years years with the big projects and changes that are coming and finally you'll meet Charmaine James who's one of our most experienced SDP short-term planners she now leads on uh, part of our training and recruitment of new specialists to the team. Welcome to the Quadrant MK it's here on the planning floor that we arrive at the national timetable we take the access proposals of passenger and freight operators as well as those from engineering haulage colleagues and we arrive at the national timetable using train planning rules and using a system called TPS, train planning system. The train planning system has three screens, a mapping screen, a scheduling screen, and a graphing screen. Using those three screens, we arrive at a timetable that functions properly against the train planning rules and performs perfectly for our customers. It's technical work, but we've got technical people. Uh, the team work on any timetables that change um, anything from 40 years, but more likely five to three years out. Uh, we do assessments of capacity, so how much space is there in the timetable for new trains or do we need to build or change something to deliver a new timetable. We recently did a piece of work that changed the timetable in December 22 on the West Coast Main Line, so the route from Houston all the way to Manchester. There were a number of changes that different operators wanted to make um, and we brought those together into the timetable. It took three years to create um, and we did analysis looking at changes at Houston Station, um, Coventry, Birmingham, Manchester. We brought all of those together to see how we could change the timetable to deliver a better service for our passengers. Talking about cool things on screen, when I was walking through the office a minute ago, I bumped into a guy called Max who had a tune up on his, uh, his three screens. Everyone seems to have three screens. Uh, and he talked me through exactly what it does. So on here we have uh, a tune, one of the planning systems we use, um, actually more specifically so I'm currently looking around at the Oxford area because um, I'm working on the East West Rail project looking to be running the services between Oxford and Milton Keynes across the new bit of infrastructure building East West Rail. And what are your screens showing you there? Um, so this is our infrastructure or my infrastructure screen um, so we can see Oxford here and one of the trains I've selected happens to be a freight. Uh, running through Oxford on the blue line. Um, central screen, this is you've got the details of all the trains. So I've got a list of all the trains in the timetable, as well as this specific freight I've got um, showing sort of more specific timing points of it. And then um, this screen would be my graph screen. So this is showing sort of a graphical representation of what the timetable is looking like. So where you've got a flat line, that train has stopped, where you've got trains or lines at an angle, those trains are moving. You now train new people uh, in timetable planning. Yeah. What kind of people are you looking for and what do you teach them? Looking for people that want to actually make a difference on the railway. We want people to be enthusiastic, want to problem solve, really, really, really look at what the train plan looks like and give the best possible timetable. We really want people that want to just get in there, get their hands stuck in and really just try and make a difference and ensure that we've got a safe, reliable timetable. And, and what do you teach them? We teach them all sorts. We teach them everything they need to know about planning a train. We teach them about trains. We teach them about the tracks, engineering works, 
signals, everything they would need to know to ensure that they are planning a compliant timetable. So there we go, I've got my bag and I'm heading home to Kent from Milton Keynes. Thank you so much to Chris Rowley and his team for making me so welcome. If you're interested in joining them, then do keep an eye on networkrail.co.uk forward slash careers. See you soon.